Raylib recently got his third major release and is now Raylib 3.0, as you can see. Uh, it's an OpenGL library written in C, but it has a lot of different bindings, so anyone can use it in any language they want. And I will show you today how to get a simple Raylib project up and running in Visual Studio using C Sharp. And for that, we'll need a few things. We're going to need the Raylib binaries. Um, we're going to need the C Sharp bindings and, of course, Visual Studio. Links for the Raylib binaries and the C Sharp bindings will be in the description. I will be using Visual Studio 2019 for this. You can probably use any version, but some options may be different in depending on the version that you use. So let's go ahead and get those Raylib binaries first. If you go ahead and go to the first link in the description, you will get to Ray's Raylib page on GitHub. Go to here on releases, and you'll see here Raylib 3.0. Scroll down and find the version that you want to use. I will be using the 64-bit version today. So download this and save it somewhere that you'll remember. Next, we're going to need the bindings for C Sharp. So head on to the second link in the description and you'll get to Chris's get a page for his bindings. Chris has done an amazing job on these bindings. They're absolutely wonderful to work with. He also helped me get a project up and running. So I thought I'd share the knowledge for how to do that. Also save this somewhere, you can easily find them. So let's just click here, clone or download, download zip. And save. All right, now let's go ahead and open the uh, folder where we saved both of these, right here, and extract both of these. Let's start by going into the Raylib CS master file, master folder, going into here, opening this Visual Studio Solution, because we're going to have to compile these uh, on our own because this is simply the source code. We have to compile them to actually get the DLL file that we'll be referencing on in our later project. So right click here, build, and you're done. So now you can just close this back down. We don't need it anymore. Just make sure that it actually output it in DLL file, just head on to RaylibCS bin 64 debug into here and see a DLL file right there. So now let's create a completely new Visual Studio solution and project. Let's close all this down. So let's open Visual Studio. I chose to use a console app for this. So you just target C Sharp and console and choose this. I just found it the easiest because you get a pre-made program.cs file with a program entry point already so it's all set up and running so you can just copy paste a bunch of code and it already runs so name it something funny and hit create all right so now that we have a new project we have to reference the c-sharp binding so that we actually can use them in the uh, when we're doing some programming so up here on our references let's add a reference hit browse Let's go to where we saved our uh, Raylib CS bindings. Head into here, into Ray, nope, Raylib CS bin 64 debug net standard, and this DLL file. Let's add it. Hit OK. It's added. Now let's also head on back to the bindings page on GitHub and copy paste this sample. Hello World program that Chris has made for us. Let's just replace everything with that and try to start and you'll see that this won't work. Now we have to copy the binaries for Raylib into the output folder of this project because this these bindings are trying to load them but they don't exist there right now. So start by right clicking this, open folder in File Explorer, head into bin, debug, and right here, we have our project, something funny, and the Raylib CS DLL file that we just referenced. Let's go to where we saved our Raylib binaries that we downloaded. So this is the file, raylib.dll, that you want to copy over. Just simply copy over that. Go back to Visual Studio, hit Start. You get another exception, and that is because we are trying to, as you can see right here, Visual Studio 
tries to, or it defaults to using a 32-bit project, which we don't want to use because we just downloaded a 64-bit variant of the Raylib library. So we just untick this. We can also just force a 64-bit platform target by doing that. Let's close that down and try to start. And we're running. Now we get two windows. First of all, this is the simple Hello World program made by Chris. And this is a small output of the Raylib library where you can see here we started a uh, OpenGL context and a bunch of stuff. Now for your game, you probably don't want this, do you? So to get rid of that, you simply go back into the project properties, application, and change the output type to a Windows application. Save that, hit start, and there you go. So I hope this helped, and a big thanks to Ray for making this library. It's really easy to use and very straightforward. So if we just start this now, thanks for watching.